Hey everyone, it's your humble Adobe instructor AJ Wood and I'm here today with a Photoshop tutorial for the folks at tipsquirrel.com. Today we're going to take a look at Quick Mask. Let's go ahead and jump in. One of the first things I'm going to do is load a previous selection and I want to draw your attention to the bottom of my toolbar where I have the Quick Mask Mode button. If I go ahead and click on that button, it will enable quick mask mode and you can see that the selection marquee disappears and I'm left with a red overlay. So the items that you see colored in red, in this case the background, is the part of the image that's being ignored and my subject, which is fully colored, is actually my selection. So Q is the keyboard shortcut that will toggle quick mask on and off. So as long as you have a selection on the screen, when you enable quick mask mode, you'll see an overlay color. If you do not have a selection on the screen, when you toggle quick mask mode on and off, you're not going to see any difference. So this is something to pay attention to because if you're in quick mask mode by accident, that could certainly cause a lot of trouble. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my selection back on the screen I'll enable quick mask mode and now I want to show you the options. To get to the options for your quick mask, you double click on the quick mask icon. The options are as follows. Number one, I can change the overlay color. So if my subject was predominantly red or if the background was predominantly red, using a red overlay for my quick mask probably would not work. If I simply double click the color, I can turn around and I can change the quick mask color to whatever is appropriate for my image. The second decision that you need to make is what the overlay color represents. The default is to have the overlay color represent the masked areas or the items that are being ignored. Some people prefer to have the quick mask represent the selection so that way the overlay color actually represents what you're trying to select in the image. I prefer the default, so I'm going to leave my options alone and simply cancel out of this box. With the quick mask mode on, you can now use your brush tools to add or remove to the selection. So if I just grab my regular brush, painting with black would paint out of the selection and painting with white would add. So if I change my brush to white, white is now my foreground color. I can quickly paint through the image with a brush and you can see I can actually add to this selection. So this is nice if I have little areas that I need to clean up. So I can go ahead and add in the gloves. Okay. And if I happen to make a mistake, I'm painting kind of sloppy, that's not a big deal because all I have to do is flip my brush to black and then I can make my brush smaller and I can fine tune those areas that I made just a little bit of a mess. So I can do this on the edge of the gloves. I can do this right here in between the fingers. Hey, do the edge of the glove. Get the fingertip. I can also catch any of those areas where I have just a little bit of a green halo. All right, so right around the edge of the fingers I have some. There is some right here on the glove. I can go and pick that up. I can grab this area here. If I move around the image, you'll see there are other spots. Here's an area that should be masked out. That's really easy to do with the quick mask. I can just paint the overlay right in that area. Don't have to worry about switching tools or grabbing between a lasso tool and my magnetic lasso and fi finding which selection tool is going to work best. I can simply just paint with my regular brush tools. So I can quickly clean up this part of the bike and you can see Hey, this is a great way to go through and just refine areas that you might have missed, areas that need just a little bit of cleanup. Works a little bit better than using Refine Edge because remember, Refine Edge impacts the entire image. Here, I can just be very specific about the areas that I want to change. So once I have that, I'll zoom out a little bit. Hey, here's our image, zooming out. And if I go back to our regular selection mode by pressing Q on the keyboard, there you can see that I have my selection. From this point, if I wanted to, I could jump into Refine Edge. Remember that's Command Option R on a Mac or Control Alt R on a PC. 
and then I could take a look at my selection. Notice that really right at the top of the helmet I have some issues. So I can fix that here, but any change that I make inside of the refine edge affects the whole image. So if I smooth this out, it smooths the entire selection. So again, the quick mask mode is nice because just by pressing Q on the keyboard, now I can directly edit areas of the image I need to change. So here I had some problems with the top of the helmet. I can go ahead and I can paint that in and easily fix that. If I need to fix a patch right here, just go in with my brush tool and I can also change the feathering on the brush. So if I need a smoother edge or a harder edge, I can do that just by editing the brush properties and that makes for, again, a much cleaner selection. So I'll zoom out once more. Here's our selection. My name is AJ Wood and as always, appreciate you tuning in for these video tutorials. You have an excellent day.